Hey guys, it's Rosie. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, today we have The Sims 4. And I know it's been a while since I last up uploaded a video, but July and June were like crazy hectic for me. I was traveling, I was in a musical, which was super fun, but also I had no time to do literally anything. So I thought I'd just kind of do like a casual video. And if people like this, we'll turn it into like a little bit of a series maybe. Um, so I was thinking we could just get started with a new game, um, get like a single sim and see what's what's happening. I've got all the expansion packs and stuff packs and I have a lot of custom content. Um, so I think we're gonna be able to make a really cool sim and do some cool stuff. So we're gonna be a young adult. Um, actually kind of like her tattoos. Um, well. Let's just go ahead and go random. <laughs> you know what we're you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do we're gonna do full random. So let's make everything random. We're gonna go full random genetics. Head shape. We're gonna pick three. Okay, one, two, three. Perfect. Um, face. Well, I guess I kind of have to do that. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Ah, uh, skin details. Let's use what I always use. We're gonna use the bit of smooth skin, which is my favorite. Okay, random teeth. This could go tragically. One, two, three. Oh, okay, that's that's relatively normal. All right, head shape. One, two, three. Eyebrows. One, two. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, I can work with that. Eyes. One, two three okay um where are the eye colors uh where did the eye colors go um have i broken my game i I think I've broken my game. Interest. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, so I guess we have to pick the eye color first. So I'm just gonna like close my eyes and just whichever one my mouse is closest to. Uh, okay. Okay, it is closest to pink, so I guess we're having pink eyes. So then that's random to get the- What's wrong with my game? <laughs> I legitimately think I've- I've broken my- Interesting. Well, until I can actually get that sorted out, you know what? We're just gonna have these eyes that are pink and slightly large. Alright, nose, one, two, three. Cheek, one, two, three. Lips. One, two, three. Ears. This, this can make or break it, guys. This is gonna make it or break it. One, two, three. Okay, we've got normal ears. Jaw. One, two, three. Okay. She's not terrible looking. Okay. So, let's go ahead and find some, some cool clothes. Um, I'm gonna pick these. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go random on them. But all right, let's go into tops. Let's not do a full body outfit. Oh, how about this groovy bowling shirt? <laughs> you know what? We're going with the groovy bowling shirt. I'm. I'm kind of feeling it. But like, oh, there we go. That's perfect. Um, get some like some nice boot cut jeans in there. Oh, I love it. And those shoes are fine. We've we've done enough to this poor woman. Um, it's a very actually like kind of nice dress, but like still kind of go for like I guess we're kind of like going kind of tacky. So is this? Yeah, that's pretty tacky, but like, let's not go too tacky, so let's- let's tone down the colors. Um... 
Oh, that's actually... It's okay. That's tacky, but not terrible. Alright, that... We'll go with that. That's... That's decent. Athletic. Um... Let's see. First of all... Let's do, like, a... Super basic, but really brightly colored hoodie. And we'll do, like, running pants that don't match at all. I can find something like that. I don't know, that actually matches. Okay. Um, I guess red is gonna be the closest we'll get. And the, the purple shoes, you know what, they're working. Alright. Uh... I want bunny slippers. We're gonna do... We're gonna do some, uh, void critter pants. Or is those the... These are just the pattern ones. Where are the... Where are the void critter pants? The the knockoff Pokemon. I guess they're not here. I need to reorganize my custom content. Oh well. Um, we'll go with... These annoyingly... Oh! Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's beautiful. And for a shirt, I mean, none of these are particularly bad. I have a lot of bralettes because I just think they're super cute. Um, let's go with the uh, knockoff band shirt. Uh, party. Let's see. What can we do for a party? Hmm. Let's go. Yeah. Or, wait, look, I gotta think about this. This is a very, I think we should go with the bowling stuff, uh, oddly patterned retro style. Like the red polka, yeah, I'm feeling that. Um, and I guess we can give her like a decent skirt to match. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. I don't, I don't feel bad about that. And swimwear, okay. Um... <laughs> swimwear. Should we make her give her the mermaid swimwear? That would be pretty funny. Um, it's like a mermaid texture. It's pretty funny. Um, now let's go with the classic palm trees in pink. Alright. I'm not- I don't hate this. Sure. She can wear these things. Now, do we give her makeup? I feel like- I feel like she's that kind of woman that's like, you know what, I feel beautiful and I don't need makeup to do that, so... We're not gonna have her wear makeup. You know, she's got those beautiful pink eyes, pink purple, whatever, and... You know what, sometimes you can't- just can't mess with that. Um... So let's pick a random hairstyle. Wait, I guess we have to pick- do three. Alright, that's gonna be your hairstyle? Sure, I don't hate that. Alright, random name. One, two, three. Caroline. One, two, three. Caroline Nup is her name. And she's gonna want to be a vampire, but I'm not gonna make that her aspiration. Um, where's the family? Okay. Um, we're gonna want her to have a big happy family. Maybe? No, a family of vampires. Yes! I... Love it. Okay. Um, oh, I can't really pick random traits. Um, I guess I'll, I'll just pick them. Uh, or I can just kind of pick... Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna do it random. I'm gonna close my eyes. You're gonna have to trust me that I'm closing my eyes. Okay. Uh, whichever one this lens closest to is where we go. Where's the mouse? Okay. It's right there. Um, outgoing. All right, again. Okay, we're still on this. Let's pick another one from here. Insider. So she's gonna like being in clubs. All right. Okay. Music lover. So she's an outgoing insider music lover. That's gonna be interesting. Um, okay. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting sim with some interesting gameplay, but... Okay. <laughs> so I think we're gonna- we're gonna build her house, cause... Why not? 
Um, I think I might have her live in the uh, vampire city. Because then she'll have easy access to vampires who can potentially turn her into one. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. So let's move to Forgotten Hollow. And of course we're going to build our own house. Wow, that is a huge lot. Okay. Um, or we can buy this. I feel like I want to build my own house. So let's do that. I actually really love building houses. You, I, I have a couple house building videos on my channel, so... I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one, so it's probably gonna be really ha haphazardly put together. Um, like, I'm not one of those people that can just, like, whip up a house in two seconds and it looks amazing. Like, I see some Let's Players and they're like, oh yeah, I just casually built this house in two minutes, and I'm like, no you didn't. You could not have. Alright, so let's go ahead and start building our house. My game is being slow today. Oh, that's not the wall. Okay, B. There we go. Um, what can we do here? Let's go ahead and do just the custom room tool. So we're gonna have our like kind of like entranceway area. I don't want to make this house too big. That's the problem. So let's just kidding. Let's go ahead and do like a little entryway. Um, this will be like the kitchen dining room area. Uh, this is difficult. Uh, kind of bedroom bathroom? We can do like kind of like a master bedroom thing, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's big enough for now. Um, We'll have like a kind of side room just in case like, yo, kids, but for now it can be like a study. Um, let's see. So how much does God come across us right now? 3,000. That's not bad. Um, yeah, I guess we can just go like that. I don't hate that. Okay. So let's block that off for the study. Let's block that off for like the kind of bastard bedroom and this will be kind of like an open kitchen dining area. Um, sure. I don't hate this at all. And I guess we can kind of make like a little garden in the front here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so let's put our bathroom in. Because right now we're not going to have like that big of a house. Um, Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and extend this. Just so we have a little bit more room for the bathroom. And I think I'm gonna put the bathroom right there. Yeah, two by three is a good size for a bathroom to start. I mean, eventually we can like expand it and make it like nice with like a tub and everything, but for now, this is good. Um, we'll go ahead and put a roof on just so it doesn't look like trash. I am terrible at roofs, and I really hate this jutting out part, so let's go ahead and just make that bigger. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of money, I already know it, so let's go ahead and make that a little, okay, that's better. That's much better. Okay, um, just kidding, we're gonna, yeah, there we go. That's much better. I like I like that design. Okay, so roofs. Roofs. Blah, blah, blah. I can't speak. Mm, I refuse to rotate the camera. Okay. I'm just like doing the laziest roof I can right now. It's not even funny. So then let's go ahead and go like that. Sure. And I guess we'll make that kind of blend into the other roof as much as we can. 
Um, if we go like that, that'll probably... Yeah, I mean, that's probably the best we're gonna get right now. Eh, doesn't look terrible. Alright. I don't, I don't despise that. Um, and then maybe we can just... Oh, that's not the right place to put a roof, Megan. Okay. Um, this looks terrible. I hate it. But, you know what? It's decent. And it's not like she has to have a great looking house, you know? <laughs> it's just kind of like a preference of mine. Um, alright, let's, let's get super, super rustic. Uh, we're gonna go with like a nice dark brown, kind of like cabin-y feel. You know, cabin in the woods, yeah. It's great. It'll fit right in with all the vampire homes. Okay. So there's our house. I'm actually gonna go ahead and move it back a little. Just so we have a little more space in the front. Um, yeah. Okay. That's decent. And now we'll do the inside walls. I do my houses in a very weird way. I will usually paint everything first if I don't have an actual plan. So, let's do the floors first, I guess. Uh, I don't know, I'm just a really big fan of this uh, vertical, vertic or, you know, no, diagonal. That's the word I'm looking for. Flooring that comes with a vampire's pack. I usually use it, like, everywhere in my houses. Um, so we're gonna put that there and there. Um, I'll probably end up, where, depending on where I put the kitchen, I'm probably gonna put tile in yeah in that color um but we're gonna put that tile in the bathroom and there's no lights here because i need to put them in but i'm just gonna kind of do it blind for now because i don't feel like putting the lights in um uh, where's the carpeting there's the carpet you put some uh what kind of carpeting let's do some nice floral carpeting in the let's go with like a kind of it's kind of like a purpley grayish in the it's gonna be a study but maybe she'll want to have kids definitely because you know she wants she wants that vampire family and i take it back i'm extending that room <laughs> um okay i actually might have to not extend that room depending on how much money we spend okay let's uh oh i didn't do the walls oh my god am i dumb Probably. Um, basic pastels with white trim. How about... Oh, I kind of want to do some dark colors, so let's do basic darks with white trim. Um, we'll keep this kind of like a gray. Um, I don't actually don't like that. <laughs> I can already tell I'm not going to like it. Um, but we'll go with kind of like a neutral, maybe? Red. red. Yeah, I don't hate the red. Yeah, let's go with the red. Um, and then for her bedroom, how about a green? Sure. Bathroom. Let's just go with the plaster. It makes it feel cold and unwelcoming. Just perfect for a vampire. Um, and yeah, that works for the study, I guess. The study is gonna be like the one normal room in the house. Um, the one like with like normal stuff. You know, she's a vampire. All right, you know what we're gonna do? I've done this in a couple of houses I've played with vampires with. We're gonna go ahead and make a secret room behind, if we have enough money, hopefully we will, but we might not. <laughs> um, we're gonna make a little secret room for where her coffin's gonna go um, when she is a vampire. Um, and where's that book door? There's a door that's a bookcase. Yeah, there it is. So I have to, oh, you have to be level seven, but I'm gonna, um, what's that cheat? Let me think of that cheat. I know this, I know I know this. It's like, um, shoot. 
I know this. Um, well, let's do testing cheats on. I know this. It's like unlock BB. BB. Ignore. Gameplay unlocks. And then it was like a weird word. Entitlement. Yes! There we go. I think that's it. Maybe it's not. Well, I mean, it activated something. <laughs> I think that was it. Yeah! Awesome. Okay. So, we're gonna put that right there. And, you know, it's just like a normal bookcase, man. I don't know what you're talking about. And to disguise it, you know, we'll put another little bookcase right next to it. Wow. Perfect. And let's see if we can, like, kind of... Old, oh no, you can't move doors like that, I forgot. Um, okay. Oh, then I have this. That's really annoying. Okay, um... Oh, do you... Okay, roof. You know what? That's good enough, okay? I really don't care. Oh, and I extended that. Whoops. Oh, no, not that! I always end up grabbing the wrong things in this game, and I'm like, wait, no! Okay. Let's put some lights in. Where are the lights? Lighting. I'm just gonna do the basic lights, because why not? One. Two. That's good enough, you know? Don't need that much light. Okay. Bathroom. There we go. We got a toilet. We got a shower. Oh, no, that is... That is not what I meant to do. Okay. Toilet, shower, and... Sink. And I guess we'll put a mirror on the wall. No vampires can't see their reflection. Yeah, that looks decent. You know what, I'm actually gonna change the walls in there. Maybe we'll change it to this blue that's in the, yeah, okay. Um, oh, and I forgot to do the walls in the other room. All right, you know what we're gonna make? that, that red, with that flooring, and then we're actually going to change the other one and make it look a little more welcoming. How about some of the standards, maybe the nice little blue, or no, let's try a beige or a tan, yeah, tan. Okay, this is a, this is a decent looking house. Alright, so now we got to give her a bed. And we'll just give her like a, you know, basic bed because she's not going to be sleeping in it, you know. Just there to keep up appearances. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and just use the, the <laughs> classic double futon because it's not, or no, it doesn't matter. We can just have it uncomfortable and she's not going to sleep in it anyways. Alright, let's do that. Um, yeah. That's uh. That's good enough. Sure. And then we are gonna want a coffin. All right, there's one. Oh shoot, they do need four blocks of space. Okay, we'll do that. And I think we will need that much room, which sucks because that really messes with my budget. No! Okay, wait, there we go. We can use it from there. Perfect. Awesome. 
And I mean, I guess you don't really need a light in there. It doesn't matter. Um, okay. Uh, we're not gonna furnish this little study room for now because, like, it's just, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. And then we'll do that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. Then I have to go edit the roof, but you know what? Whatever. Um, okay. We are going to now furnish the rest of the house. And I'm just realizing now that I did not put in any windows, but that's okay because we'll do that later and like, who needs windows, right? Um, just kidding, we're gonna put windows in the house. Um, but they're gonna be an afterthought and they're probably gonna look like an afterthought, so. All right, let's at least make this look decent. So some cabinets, let's go with, I guess the bland, bland contemporary counter in like the gray, cause that, that kind of fits our theme the best. And then we'll have like this little like alcove for cooking, which is good, I don't, I don't mind that. Um, okay, trash can, we always need a trash can in a house. We'll use, that. We'll use that one. Why not? It looks decent. It works. And we'll need a sink, so we'll put that there. Except, like, I kind of hate that, so instead, let's add another counter. That's better. Okay. So we've got that. I think we can put, like, a little table in this area. And then we'll make like a little living room and then we'll be done. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and make our, why did I click the bathroom? That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Dining room. Let's see. How about, it's kind of like, yeah, this like modern table. Why not? It's fine. And tables. No, chairs. Chairs is the word. Um, I guess we kind of kind of want to pick a more modern chair if we're going for that. Yeah, so that works. Give it four chairs and set it at a diagonal because that always looks nice. Uh, there we go. Okay, I was looking for the key. It's alt. Yeah, okay. Um... We're actually ending up with a good amount of money, but oh, I forgot the windows. I still have the windows. And she probably will need a computer. So let's go ahead and grab the cheapest desk, which is this one tile desk that I have of custom content. It looks like trash, and you know what? That's what you get for 65 simoleons. Uh, we'll put the cheapest computer. This is one that I use that's like the... I use it in my, um, decades gameplay, because it looks super old, but we're, we're gonna use just the regular cheap one. And just this chair, but let's at least match it if the design tool decides to work. Um, that's not what I meant to click on. Okay, there we go. Like, um, yeah, I guess that works. Okay. So we've got that. Oh, we need doors. Shoot. All right, doors. Um, doors. I guess we're going with regular, plain old doors. Put one there, put one there. How about one right there? And I guess we kind of have to have a nicer one for the front door. Um, let's use one of those like that one's really cool, but I can't get it in the middle, which is tragic. Unless we kind of put the mailbox right next- yeah, we'll do that. Because that's a- that's a cool, very vampire-y door. We'll do that. Where is the trash can? Where's the big trash can? Don't- they didn't- Slot didn't give us one. Okay. Interesting. Alright. We'll use that. Oh, can we use this? This is great. That one looks so cool. Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll put our trash can kind of 
There it is. The boundary of the lot. What boundary of the lot? I don't see a... Interesting. Okay, that's weird. It's just not giving me the placement things. Interesting. Oh, okay. Guess we can place it there. Huh? Alright, let's do a little living room. And I don't want to be completely broke. <laughs> oh, I suppose I should get her something creative since she's likes music. Let's let's do that. Where are the instruments? They're there. Let's go ahead and give her one of the violins. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Uh, now we are running out of money. Uh, I guess we can probably put, like, a couch. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and move... Eh, I don't like the way I designed this house, <laughs> suddenly. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just put a couch in here, randomly. <laughs> um... This is fine. Oh yeah, you know what, this is okay. Um... And we'll make it, we'll give like a little bit of color to the room, because right now there's there's nothing in there that's like colorful. Let's go with like a green. I don't hate the green. The green is fine. And then, okay, those look tragic if you do them in any other color. Let's go ahead and make the theme of this room kind of like green. That's a, a bad green. Let's, let's go like that. Yeah. Okay. And we'll do a little pathway to... The street, not stairs. Why am I clicking on random things? <laughs> not metal. Where are the masonry? There we go. So let's go ahead and I guess just go like that. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Oh, and I forgot I wanted to do this. Yeah. They won't be able to get into their seats if I do that. Okay. Um, can I use Alt to get that as close as I can to the door? Okay. Yeah. Maybe I just want to do that if that doesn't look too bad. Actually, yeah, no, that's actually fine. Alright, so I guess this is our house. It doesn't look half bad, and okay, the fact that there's no light in this room is actually really bothering me, so we're gonna... We're gonna do that. Okay. So now I guess the first thing we're gonna want to do is... Find a vampire, which won't be too hard since we're living in a neighborhood of them. And... Oh, I forgot to do the roof! <laughs> This is what you get. This is what you get. We're changing everything. Okay. Uh, the roof. Right. Um, in an unsurprising turn of events, I hate this roof. I love how I say I'm gonna make like a, just like a quick house and it ends up being like 20 minutes of building. I hope I'm not too boring. This is better. Much better. Okay. This doesn't make me want to gouge my eyeballs out. Which is a defining factor in how I rate my houses. Oh, and now there's that. Right. Alright. Um, yeah, I kind of hate this, but... Whatever. Looks like stairs on a roof. The front of the house! The front of the house actually looks really nice, but I didn't get to the garden that I wanted to do. Alright, you know what? Garden. Garden. Oh yeah, trees! There. It's beautiful. Every single frickin' kind of tree in the world. We got bamboo? Sure. Oh, this is this is a good one. Let's make- let's put this nice dead tree in the front of the yard. Okay. I love this. This is great. Perfect. 
Oh my god, it's amazing. Now that, that is a house. And if you don't think that's a house, you've got issues. <laughs> this is, this is architecture at its finest. All right, so here we go. Caroline, what are you doing? Oh, she's going to read a book. You don't have time to read books. We have to turn you into a vampire. And also, you should probably get a job. Um, so what should we have her be? Let's see. Um, we're going to ask her to find a job. We're not, not going to ask her because she's finding a job. She's going to do what we tell her to do. Okay. Um, preferably, we want to pick something at night. Um, let's see. What happens at night? Babysitter. She could be a babysitter. Though I don't know if you'd want to trust a vampire with your children. How about criminal? You know what? That's great. Let's be a criminal. <laughs> this is perfect. How are you? Um, so maybe we should have her research some vampire secrets too. We're going to search for information on vampires and see how that goes. Oh, she's learning vampire skills. That's good. And hopefully we'll get a visit from our, um... She's singing? She just like... Okay, no. Go look up some more about vampires. I don't know what you're doing. She's singing. I know what she's doing, but she's singing badly. Um, that's a bathroom. Who's over here? Is that Candy? No, that's Nancy Landgrab. Um... Well, because we know our good friend, our good friend Vlad is going to live in one of these houses. I know that. And it's got to be there since that's the only house. Or, no, he definitely lives, no! Okay, he lives there. Sure. I guess let's go say hi to our friend, Vlad, and become friends with him. Because... That's what you do when you want to become a vampire. You you make friends with the local vampire and hope that he'll bite you when you ask. These loading screens have gotten so much longer as they keep adding expansion packs. And at first I was like, oh my god, this is so much faster than The Sims 3, but I realized that The Sims 3 was like super fast if you just had the base game. But, yeah, they really don't plan out the expansion packs well, because they just... Everything that can go wrong with the game does go wrong when they add a new expansion pack. Everything breaks. It's terrible. But, like, you get new gameplay, so, I mean, I don't really want to complain. <laughs> okay. Or wait, is this, um, this is, uh, this is Caleb. Yeah, but it's his house, is it? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's his house. So let's go say hi to him. Maybe maybe Vlad doesn't have a house. Well, oh well. We'll go say hi to our friend. Okay, so who's here? We've got Lilith, Caleb. I think she might be. She, I think they're all vampires, I'm pretty sure. And is there anyone else upstairs? There is not. Oh, wait, there's a third floor with nothing. It's great. Oh, it's just like decorative. Okay. <laughs> Why have the stairs then? <laughs> okay. Well, where are their coffins? They're like, they're vampires. What's the point? Why won't, won't you have a coffin if you're a vampire? I don't get it. Okay, whatever. Well, we're going to go say hi to our buddy Caleb because I know that he's a vampire for sure. And those are some interesting earrings, my friend. Is that his sister, or...? I don't know. Never actually really talked to him. Let's, let's, let's find out, is that his sister? So... I guess we have to go into romance to do it. We have to ask if he's single. So let's find out. He is single, so that must be his sister. Alright, well, let's see which one of them is easier to talk to, and then we'll see if he can, um, we'll ask him about some vampire history, see if, um, we might be able to get him to turn us into a vampire. He's not a history buff, oh, come on, man. 
Look, I'm sorry you're a young vampire. All right. Um, we're not gonna. We're gonna praise the vampire life lifestyle and enthuse about vampires. But we're also gonna complain about the local youths. You know, get off my lawn. Okay. Enthuse about vampires. Then let's go ahead and propose a crazy scheme. And let's pull a little bit of a prank on him. Let's... Let's lie about our career. Because we don't want to just tell him we're a criminal. Oh, he didn't like that. What did I do wrong? Oh, are we saying we're like a pilot or something? And we make a lot of money? Oh, they like that. Okay. They liked that. That's that's good. Let's tell a joke about Sunset Valley and then- Oh, can we tell a joke about vampires? That would be great. Yes, let's make a vampire pun! I love it. Alright. Come on, talk to me, man. Oh, she doesn't like us. She really doesn't like us. Um, we'll ask him about his day, I guess. And... How about... Let's show off our muscles, because we definitely have those. Um, ask him about his career. Let's see what he does. And we're going to enthuse about some music, because, you know, we like music. Oh, he's unemployed? Jeez, if you're going to be a vampire man, you would think you would have, like, a, a nice spanking job. Vampires are all, like, rich and stuff. <laughs> Um, I don't think he likes us that much. We'll compliment his home, though. It's it's quite nice. Maybe she'll be easier to talk to. I don't know. I feel like we, we've already started talking to him. What's the point? I guess we're also getting with her, too, but not as much. He looks like an emo kid. Like, he looks like he's going through his emo phase, and it's just it's cracking me up. I guess we'll gossip about our neighbors, but I mean, they're technically our only neighbors, so we're gossiping about them apparently, but whatever. And then we'll, do, then we'll just do some gossiping in general. And let's see what else we can do. Give him a nice friendly hug. And discuss the neighborhood changes. Oh, my game is really so slow right now. Um, I'm like clicking and nothing's happening. Okay, there we go. Um, how about we get to know him? Alright, let's see how that goes. Let's see, where are you going, Caleb? Where are you going? Okay, are they friends now? That would be great. Are they like... Oh, they're still acquaintances. He's a master vampire. Oh no, the phone is ringing. That is... Okay, we're just gonna ignore that, you know? It happens. Um, can we, like, ask him to make us into a vampire? Or do we have to, like, know he's a vampire? Oh, yeah, we can! Yes! Alright, let's see if we'll do it. Oh, we learned that he's ambitious. How useful. Frankly, I only care that he's a vampire. We're, we're just using him to, to turn into a vampire. Alright, come on. Turn us into a vampire, buddy. Do it. He's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! Is he gonna do it? Please tell me he's gonna do it. Oh, yes! Be turned into vampire. Well, this was eventful. Here we go. It's happening. Yes! This is great. Episode one, and we're already a vampire. Awesome. It's a it's an interesting vampire ritual. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. We're a vampire. And I think that's where we're going to end this episode. So, see you guys next time when we turn into a vampire and start looking for maybe maybe we'll start looking for a boyfriend. That sounds good. You know what? Let's that's a plan. All right.